take a look here. Pull the disconnect. We'll check our fuses. Those are probably shot, but uh, take a peek inside first. The fan motor looks pretty rusty. Yeah, let's take a look here. It is just super humid. Nice day, but you can see by the amount of sweat on me, just about how humid it is. It's uh, maybe 105 degrees. Nice dramatic day. Well, let's see. Compressor wire. Contactor sucked in. Capacitor looks pretty tired. Hard start kit. And where is our fan cap? Hiding. Oh, it's back here in a box. That's not really good. All right. Well, we can take a reading on our capacitors. We will discharge our capacitor first. Capacitor holds the charge in it, even after the power is disconnected. And what we need to do is just disconnect one lead from the cap. This one is a 35. These Goodman units. And I'll take off the hard start kit too, just for good measure, just so I have no interference. Just the one lead there. And then the fan cap, we do the same thing. This we should anchor up better. Got my regular camera, so but I'm gonna set them on microfarad readings, one lead to each side, and uh, before I do that, I should just discharge this just for safety's sake as well. So here goes one lead to each side. like a bad cap there get in point zero two one that's definitely bad and for the fan cap definitely having a little technical difficulty here getting a good read in there either. I'm going to change both of those for good measure and uh, we'll see how it goes. Testing my fuses, those are okay. Check the compressor, it's fairly hot. So I'm going to, to cool down my compressor and change my capacitors. Okay, changed out the capacitors and uh, just going to try to fire it up and test it out. Compressor may be overheated. And I'll need to anchor the capacitor better, but I wanted to kind of get better direction on which way to go for this, uh, just in case that's not what's going on. So here goes. Uh oh, we got a fan motor down. Let's see if I can push start it. Nope. Yeah, we got a bad fan motor. Definitely a bad fan cap motor. I need to re-discharge the capacitor. And I'm kind of glad I didn't anchor that one yet. I'll anchor it better once I get things set up. Actually, I can just cable strap it. That'll be even better. And uh, change this puppy out. I think I have another uh, lid on another roof, so I might just change the whole lid or I'll change the fan motor, whichever one it takes. I thought I'd just uh, test it on an amp draw on the fan motor. Plug the disconnect in. Zero amps. Wow, that's weird. Okay. So, whoops, I think I wanted to be on that motor. 
that wire, the black wire. <laughs> yeah, it looks like our fan motor is just burned out internally, so definitely want to discharge both of our capacitors before taking it apart. And now I can disconnect it and get it going. Got the fan lid changed. Had to rewire the motor, secured the capacitor here, and uh, had to jump, run a new lead. I showed in another video how to wire that a little bit clearer, but I better hurry up and get off this roof before I get heat stroke, so hopefully this works out. Here it goes. Beautiful. Fan spinning the correct direction. Oh, it's great. Moving heat from the unit. And we're good there. Anyway, there's a jumper wire going down to the common side for the other side of the fan. Since this was a three, three wire fan, just a little bit different. You just have to put all the screws back together. Hurry up and get off of this roof. It is uh, boiling hot. Forgot the sunscreen today. Uh, it was on call, got called out, and it's uh, definitely the sun takes a much worse toll on you without sunscreen. Ears are turning red. All that good stuff, so I better hurry up and get this done and get out of here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll unplug it. I'll wait a couple couple minutes as I put the fan lid back together, turn it back on again. I just got to put all my screws in and everything and uh, verify that the fan motor continues to spin the correct direction because that's, uh, you know, absolutely important. It's not going to work properly if it reverses direction every time you turn it on, so... Just gotta verify that and we're good to go. Got my lid and my cover all back together. Now we're ready to plug it in and verify if the fan spins the correct direction. Here it goes. Yep. Oh. We are going the correct direction, that's good. Fan baffles in a little bit. And just tighten all my screws and make sure that's good. Like we're good there. We're running nice and cold. Just a little nervous about that fan baffle. I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Try to see right where we're hitting here. Adjust that up and get it going. Okay, looks like I just had a few screws in the wrong position down here. Oh, now I'll try it out, get it going. Beautiful. No more baffle hitting. We're good to go. Stay with it for a few minutes, make sure we're good, and we're all set. Anyway, thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance. Stay cool out there, you guys. This was a humid one. Good to go. Yeah, it seems like on these humid days, uh, when I see the most fan motors going down, it seems like it takes more of a toll on the fan motors.